One of the biggest annoyances that has always existed when trying to use features of Streamlabs with the live streaming software OBS Studio is all the manual customization required just to pull in your alerts, widgets, a window to read your chat. That's why I am so excited today to show you guys a brand new plugin from Streamlabs that has officially made using OBS Studio that much easier. Let's get to it. So the first step to fully integrating this Streamlabs plugin into OBS is to first make sure you have OBS Studio downloaded. If you don't already, just go to the OBS project website and you can download it for your respective computer. You'll then wanna head over to streamlabs.com slash OBS plugin. I also left a link in the description below so you can follow along. Go to this page and when you scroll down just a little bit, you're gonna see an option to download the plugin. Click on that and then go through the installation process. There's no special things here you need to configure, just restart your computer. For those of you guys using a Mac computer, the plugin is not available as of to date filming this video, but stay tuned as it should be available very, very soon. Now, once you've restarted your computer, go ahead and launch OBS Studio and you should see two docs with the Streamlabs logo spinning inside of them. If you for some reason don't see those, then go to your docs and then scroll down to where you see Streamlabs recent events and chat and make sure that those are checked off. Keep watching this video to the end because I'm going to show you what these docs will look like when you're using OBS Studio while live. Now, next up, you guys should have seen the Streamlabs plugin window pop up somewhere on your desktop. If it's closed out or didn't launch for you, then you can always go to OBS and click the Streamlabs tab. That'll open the plugin window right up. From here, you can go ahead and log in either using your Streamlabs ID or one of your social media accounts that you plan on streaming to. After you're logged in, you'll then be presented right away with an option to add theme overlays to your OBS and tipping, both of which can be done later. Next, you'll then have the option to choose the plan that you wanna use with the Streamlabs plugin. And luckily, this is completely free, guys. There's no watermarks, there's no catches, no gimmicks. It's 100% free. Yes, you can go the ultra route if you want, but the main benefits with that is the ability to multi-stream as well as getting access to some super nice overlay packs. Now, next up here is where the Streamlabs plugin magic happens. Starting on the left-hand side is where you're gonna see all of the features of this plugin, widgets, overlays, widget themes, stream labels, cloud bot tipping, and multi-streaming. Starting off with the widgets, this is where you guys can add your alert box, your chat, your stream events. All you need to do is go over to one of the widgets that you wanna add and select add, and that will immediately add it to your existing scene that you're in within OBS Studio. So as you can see, the alert box has added in automatically as its own browser source. So this completely takes away the manual effort of adding your own browser source, having to grab the link and then put it in within OBS. The plugin does this for you with one click. Now I can just take the box, put it wherever I want within my scene here. And let's say I wanna test this alert. All I need to do is go over to the test events option here, or even there's one over here as well. Then I can go up to, let's say Twitch for example, select follow, and then if I go back to my OBS, I can see that that follow alert is working. Another thing you guys are gonna wanna keep in mind is that in order to pull the audio from these widgets into your OBS, you're gonna need to double click on that browser source and then make sure control audio via OBS is selected. When you do that, you're gonna see another source pop up in your audio mixer. Now when I do a test, you're gonna see that audio come through, which means it's working. If you wanna make edits to the settings of these widgets, you can just click on the settings option for that widget you're looking to update, and that'll open up your Streamlabs dashboard on the web app to make the changes there. Next up, if we jump over to overlays, this is where you're gonna see all of the assets that you can add to your stream to give it a more interesting look. Luckily, there's a bunch of free ones that you can use. So if you scroll all the way down, you're gonna see the free overlay section and you can just select view all to see all of those overlays. And you can also sort by featured, just add it, popular. And if you go in the middle here where it says free, you can add the animated option so that you can see the ones that are a little bit more visually stimulating to the eyes. Jumping over now to widget themes, this is where you can modify the look of your alerts, chat box, and event list. 
from the default if you don't want to continue using that. You can use these, which look a little bit more custom and interesting for your stream. These also have some free options. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you're going to see the free widget themes. You can go ahead and select this and you can also sort by feature, just add it popular. Next, we have stream labels, which you can add easily by selecting the add a stream label option. And this is where you can show text of your most recent subscriber, donator. For this example, I'm going to choose to show the most recent follower on my stream. When I click that, it'll add directly to the scene that I'm on within OBS. I can then move that text around, maybe put it in certain overlay sections of my stream that I might have added. If you need to adjust the text format or how big it is, then just go to the source, double click on it, go to select font, and this is where you can adjust what that font is, as well as the sizing of it too. Below that, you have your cloud bot, which if you select this manage on streamlabs.com, it'll take you to the web app version. And this is where you can turn the cloud bot on. You can turn on varying levels of moderator protection settings here, and even some timers to let's say have it pop up in chat to please subscribe for more, which you should totally do here on YouTube, by the way. Next up, we have tipping, which if you have a Streamlabs account associated with your YouTube or Twitch, it's automatically going to make you a tipping page. All you need to do is set up your PayPal or your Stripe account with Streamlabs. So that way, when you're live and people click on your URL link, you can get easy donations this way and it'll pop up on your stream in the form of an alert if you have that widget set up. Lastly, we have the multi stream tab, which is an ultra feature, but it's easy as one click and logging into that specific account. You even have the custom destination as well in case you have a stream key that you want to use. But once you have all those destinations in, it's as easy as just toggling what you want to stream to and then just going live, which the Streamlabs plugin also integrates with. So when you select the start streaming option, the plugin window is going to pop back up. So I just have Twitch selected here. I'm going to select next. And this is where I can add in a title tags, also the category of the game that I'm playing. And then I can select start streaming. If you prefer to manage on your own, how your stream is pushed to certain platforms instead of Streamlabs doing it, for example, you can go back to the plugin, go to settings, and then just turn off start streaming flow. Now, when you go live, you'll be using the account settings that you've set up within OBS to stream to instead of Streamlabs. Now, when you're live and using OBS, you're gonna see all of your events on the left-hand side. You can easily replay events that have happened on your stream. For the Streamlabs chat, if you wanna get the most use out of this doc, then you're gonna wanna log into that social media account that you're streaming with. In my case here, we're using Twitch, so I logged in with that, and now I can reply and interact with everyone that's in the chat here. I can even control the chat settings. So if I need to enable slow mode, for example, I can do that. Now, if at any point you encounter any weird glitches or the plugin isn't working properly, then you can just go into the plugin window, select your name on the left hand side, and then just select restart. But there you guys have it. That is the Streamlabs plugin for OBS Studio. Please let me know in the comment section below what your experience is like using this plugin. Shout out to Streamlabs for sponsoring this video. And of course, if you guys came to enjoy it, hit it with a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.